Mitsubishi Electric multi-position air handler can be completely disassembled for installations in attics, crawl spaces, or anywhere clearance is limited. The complete disassembly of the multi-position air handler can be completed in around 15 minutes. When disassembling and reassembling the multi-position air handler, pay close attention not to damage any wiring, electrical connectors, or control boards. Some wiring is routed inside the air handler's frame and exposed during the disassembly process. Damaging these parts will cause undesired operation or premature failure. On the filter panel, rotate the two thumb screws counterclockwise to remove the panel. If a filter has already been installed, slide it out of the cabinet. Using a Phillips or 8mm hex driver, remove the two screws located at the top of the blower panel. Remove this panel by pulling the top of the panel towards you first. Remove the two screws located at the bottom of the electrical panel. Remove the screws securing the coil panel to the drain and refrigerant pipe panel. Next, remove the smaller panel located next to the refrigerant pipes. Remove the remaining four screws which secure the coil panel to the air handler cabinet. Using extreme caution, separate the coil panel from the cabinet. The drain and refrigerant piping panels will remain. The remaining panels over the refrigerant coil can be removed by sliding in the direction shown. Remove the single screw on the right which secures the electrical cover. The electrical cover can now be removed. Using extreme caution, unplug the thermistor from connector CN44 on the control board. Carefully route the wires out of the electrical area and into the coil section of the cabinet. During this process, it is very important not to damage the connectors or wires. First, remove the bracket or brackets which secure the coil to the cabinet. Carefully remove the refrigerant coil from the air handler's cabinet, being careful not to damage the coil. Remove the screw which secures the panel over the enclosure in the blower section of the air handler. Disconnect the two white plastic connectors and route the wire harnesses out of the enclosure. Remove the two screws securing the blower to the cabinet. The blower assembly will drop down, allowing it to slide out. Use extreme caution not to damage any of the wire harnesses. Remove the two screws located at the top of the air handler cabinet as well as the three located on the back. Remove the top panel from the air handler. Unplug the wire harness which enters the left side of the electrical box from the control board. Next, disconnect the wire harnesses from the power board on the right side of the electrical box. Remove the four screws that secure the electrical box to the air handler cabinet. Carefully free the electrical box from the air handler cabinet and lift the electrical box vertically. Remove all the screws securing the back panel to the air handler. Carefully remove the back panel. Properly support the internal shelf before removing the six screws securing each side panel to the shelves. Remove the eight screws that secure the upper shelf to the assembly and detach it. Remove the eight screws that secure the vertical strap to the lower shelf. You have now successfully disassembled the multi-position air handler for installation in low clearance areas. Use extreme caution when rerouting or reattaching all wiring harnesses to the air handler. Damage to these items will result in undesired operation or premature failure.